Do you think we will ever see an aluminum Christmas tree revival? Hashtag. Uh, if so, would you buy one? Those things always confuse the shit out of me. I mean, when were they popular? Because I saw them in the 80s. 80s, 70s, maybe? So I want to say 70s is where they got their start. I think I knew one. I think I went over one kid's house that had a, one of those white Christmas trees. It always... Was that aluminum? And I don't know if it was I, aluminum, but, but, it that, was but always that falls weird, in the same... Weird as hell to me. They yeah. have colored Christmas trees. If you, if you watch the movie Goodfellas, I think someone gets a, a colored Christmas tree. And they say, oh, I bought the most expensive one. And it was this gaudy-ass... Colored, I think it was Ray Liotta's <laughs> character. I, wow, it's been too long since I watched Goodfellas, and a lot of it happens around Christmas. It's almost like a Christmas movie, Goodfellas. Um, no, I don't think we will, but I do think we're getting away from. Well, no, I think we're not crazy enough to, to think that. When, you, when people, there's less people complaining about cutting on trees because those, 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 those uh, or, um, places that grow, they grow more trees than they cut down when when they when they cut them down. So I, I don't have a huge objection to people having real trees. I'm just thinking out loud. I, I don't have a real tree. Frank buys one every year. My, I like real trees. I just uh, my, par- I my parents stopped buying uh, wanna, real trees. I don't want to clean up after them. They were so good though, because the cats would would uh, they, they you get the warm the cats would drink out of the pine water. <laughs> um, I they, love the smell of a real Christmas tree. Uh, yeah, we had real Christmas trees a lot when I was growing up, and then around the age of maybe ten or eleven, um, my grandma was really great at winning radio contests. She just had that weird luck. She she would win them, like, fucking five times a year, you know? Well, the only trick to that is you just constantly enter Yeah, them. I know, that's but I'm trick, just saying, you know? like, that's just what she would do. And so <laughs> we got a fake Christmas tree, and it was, like, to my parents, it was this revelation of ease. And suddenly we just always used fake Christmas trees. But I've kind of seen, and I thought this is what you are going to say, is, um, and maybe it's just because of my my. my place in life right now maybe it's because i don't have kids and don't ever plan on having kids um but a lot of people a lot of families i've seen you know they're not doing the huge crazy christmas trees so much anymore well, like the 10 footer yeah you're 12 doing footer we're doing i mean like I, Six, seven I go feet. to a lot of my friends houses no i mean i'm talking like a three foot tree a real in the one corner. a real one or, or, or even a fake one but like a oh. little one in the corner you know it's, it's symbolic you put your presents under it but it's not this this is this huge um production so pain, pain in the ass to get rid of unless you live in a neighborhood that they have pickup of the trees you know it's, that's one thing to think about i guess they do they always have that set day you got to put your tree out yeah. you know in the first week of january or whatever um i think i think if i had kids i i think i would have to get a real tree at least once or twice so sure. they experience what you experience and, and, a, and a bigger tree too but if you're not having yeah, kids i think foot. i think a lot of adults are like it takes a lot of time to put up. takes a lot of time to break down. We can do a really cool little themed three-foot tree uh, and done. I'll tell you what I can get rid of, the ornaments. I'd rather get rid of the ornaments because originally there weren't ornaments. They would just take a tree. It goes back to Germany. Just take a tree and throw it in their house. You know, that's it. Me being me and Vani being a saint. Um, I mean, she just allows me to. I just throw up a Charlie Brown Christmas tree every year. Did I get you a Charlie Brown tree? Time to be frank with you um i've received five charlie brown christmas trees over the past when did i give you that one three years ago uh, four years ago. two years ago and you already had one you got me my second one so it's still meant tell me because it meant something to me it meant something i got you a christmas tree yeah because it was a nice gift and that's the thing i I, i'm not shitting on people who did it it's nice that they saw it and they go ian likes peanuts this is really cool they thought of me same exact model yeah but i i really have gotten five of them and this year uh, I gave them all to, except for one, uh, and I think I kept yours because yours uh, had, it, it, there was still like some sort of like paper attached to it. I, I feel like it was yours. Um, but I, I, I gave away four of them to friends who oh. adored them. So I, I now have one Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Was it thought that counted? Yes. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, I'm always appreciative of it, but like, honestly, we went to go pull one. We went to go pull down the closet this year. And it's like there's five of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we need we need to find homes for these. 